to class 6, session 6. In today's class, we're going to learn about output devices. What is an output device? An output device displays the result of your work after your input has been processed by CPU. In the previous sessions, if you remember, we have learned about IPO cycle. What does it do? It takes the input with the help of the input devices, it processes into the CPU and then CPU produces the result. Now that result is displayed on the output devices. It can display the result either in the form of hard copy or in the form of soft copy. What is a hard copy? When the displayed contents are present on a piece of paper, that is your hard copy. But when they are displayed only on the screen or the monitor, they are termed as your soft copy. Now, there are various types of output devices such as monitor, printer, plotter and speakers. Let's see about monitor. Can you see the picture on the screen? Doesn't this picture look like a screen? So, a monitor is quite similar to your TV screen. It is the most common op output device. It has a wire that is attached to CPU. Now, monitor is of two types. First is cathode ray tube which is called as CRT. When the electrodes strike the phosphor dots, they glow to give colors and thus we can see the picture on the screen. Can you see the cathode ray tube monitor on the screen? From the back, it is quite bigger in shape. These were used earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, the other type is liquid crystal display or LCD. It uses liquid crystals that can polarize light depending upon the electrical charges across it. The picture can you see on the screen? This is quite slim in shape. These are commonly used nowadays. The next output device that we will study is printer. It produces text and graphics on a physical medium such as a sheet of paper. Now there are various types of printers such as dot matrix printer, inkjet printer, laser printer. Let's see these printers one by one. Number one, dot matrix printer. See its image on the screen? It prints one character at a time. Therefore, it is quite slow in working. They form characters and images by using patterns of dot. These printers have a head that moves horizontally across the paper. Now, how does this move? See the cursor. When one character is printed, then the next character is printed. Then again, the next character is printed. So, this way from horizontally, it moves from one side to another side. When one line is printed, then it comes back to the next line and again it starts printing one character at a time. So these are quite slow in speed and these were used in the earlier days. Next is your inkjet printer. See the picture on the screen. They form characters and images by spraying small drops of ink on the sheet of paper. Its print head consists of tiny nozzles that can be heated up within few microseconds and then ink vaporizes and ejects the nozzle and places the in front of the print head. Next is your laser printer. These are the most commonly used printers these days. They print one page at a time. They are quite faster as compared to the other two printers and it produces high quality output. It consists of laser beam source, a multi-sided mirror, a photoconduct drum and a toner. The other output device that we are going to learn is plotter. It is used to print design of high quality graphics in different types of colors. It is used by engineers, architects etc. to produce 3D effects. Again, it is of two types. First is drum plotter, second is flatbed plotter. See the drum plotter on the screen. These plotters use a drum to draw a design on the sheet of paper. A graph plotting program regulates the movements of the drum and the pens. 
Next is your flat bed plotter. Here they plot a design or graph onto a sheet spread and fixed over a rectangular flat bed table. Can you see the mouse? This is the flat bed table and on it a sheet is there. In this type of plotter the paper does not move. The head, can you see the head over here? This keeps on moving. The next output device is your speaker. You must be aware of the speakers. It is used to receive the sound in the form of electric current from the sound card and then convert it to the sound format. These speakers are attached to your CPU. Now let's see the assignment question. You have to revise the entire chapter for your assessment. Now for your convenience, I am going to Provide all the links of all the sessions in the description box below. Thank you for this session. I hope you have enjoyed this.